Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video in programming the finite element method using MATLAB. In this video, we are going to let the STR controller deal with this reporting instead of us keeping to call for to string. So it's going to be a quick video where we just tidy up a little bit. And once again, just to remind you, this is a continuation of the finite element method series linked on the top right. And if you found this video by some chance, then you can check out the video series, which I will be linking also on the top right that shows you those videos in order in case you found yourself bumping at this video by random. And maybe you should consider subscribing if you bumped by this video by chance. Anyway, without further ado, let's dive into the video. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. All right, now let's start something regular. Let's first of all delete all the stuff and basically start by defining us a 2D frame. I define a 2D frame, so I need four, four nodes. I would say node one equals str or controller dot add str node, and this is gonna be zero, zero, zero. Then node two, this equals controller dot add str node, and that is, let's see, zero and x. So I'm going to assume that the x and y axis are horizontal axis, and the z axis is the vertical axis. So for the second node, which is gonna be uh, above the first node, I will basically do this, which means it's five meters above node one. For node three, it's gonna be controller.add str node, and it's gonna be 10, zero, and five. So it is 10 meters in the X and five meters above. Node four is gonna be the controller.add str node. It's gonna be 10, zero, zero, that's on the ground. Now I'm gonna add me some lines. And this is cool, by the way, you could have in the STR controller a routine that just defines a frame for you by giving it the B and the height, but we're not there yet. So line one, this is gonna be the controller of add STR line, and it just requires you to give it node one and node two. So it's node one and node two. Then line two, this equals the controller dot add STR line, and it's node two with node three. There seems to be an error here. Oh, it's just a relic. Line three equals controller dot add str line, node three and node four. Those are the four lines. This is actually the column, that's the beam, and that's the column. Fantastic. Now we need to ask the controller to just to string, to report itself, which means this should report the structure. So this is gonna be this entire reporting is gonna be centralized in the controller. So let's basically collapse those functions and focus on the toString function. So function to string, and it needs, of course, the reference to the object. I'm gonna end this, and what do I want to tell the user? Let's just give him general information about the structure. Maybe say model has, and let's give him the number of nodes, and such and such lines, and then hit the enter key. Now here I need to give him the number of nodes and number of lines. So I would ask the object, no, length of object dot str nodes. This should give him the number of nodes and length of object dot str lines. This should give him the number of lines. So this is the first sentence I want to tell him. The second sentence is I'm gonna tell him f print f and I'm gonna tell him nodes double point. So this will tell Maybe I should give him like some dashes like this and then tell him notes. Yeah, this should make sense. And that's it. Now here, I'm gonna give him the information of every single note. So this needs a for loop. For i equals from one to length of object dot str notes. And I'm gonna end that. So here, I'm gonna get the note. So I'll say here target note, let's fish it out equals object dot str nodes of i. Remember, you need to use the parentheses instead of the brackets. And now I'm gonna basically let him report it. So target node dot to string. So he's gonna report himself, right? This should report all the nodes. Later, I will tell him the report for the lines. And I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna let each line report itself. So I'll copy this entire code, paste it, and change the li nodes to lines. That's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna be as target line and target line. Come on. Okay, let's see how it looks. Run. 
Okay, let's see what happens. So model has four nodes and three lines, and the nodes, where's double point? There's a double point here? Okay, fine. Nodes, one, two, three, four, and lines, one, two, there is, okay, I think the idea of repeating nodes might be obsolete by now because I already am showing the nodes. So maybe I should reduce this. This is too much. So maybe I can go to str line, revisit it, and basically do this. Like just do this parenthesis like this and say n and then integer to n and then integer. So I'm gonna just try and make it better. So now I'm gonna tell him this is a line that has a serial number of i and starts at node number something and ends at node number something. So here I must tell him what the node is. Object dot node one dot id and object dot node two dot id. It might be working, I don't know. Let's go to main and run. Yeah, that's much better. This looks much more professional, by the way. I think I am happy about this. And this is the text reporting. I might want him to plot or show. Like, I must have a... I want to see something. So I should say controller.show next time. Or render. I'm not going to use OpenGL here. I'm just going to use the plotting functions of MATLAB. That's for next time. So I think we've done a better job in streamlining the controller. It's getting really good here. So I think that's it. That's what I want to say. So of course, once again, the source code is available to my channel members, but for the regular viewers, fear not, because I just wrote the entire thing in front of you, so you can just write, a, write along. Like you won't lose anything. So yeah, that's everything I wanted to talk about today. I hope you enjoyed. And in the end, I, will, I want to give a reporting size charter to my dear channel members in the contributor level and the helper level whose names are going to be shown on the screen. I want to thank them from the bottom of my heart as their support of the channel is priceless to me and enables me to provide you with videos hopefully on time and with a certain quality I try to achieve and for that I am forever thankful. In the end, I hope that you enjoyed the video and you found it beneficial. If you have enjoyed the video then please consider liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting and so on, especially subscribing because it helps increase the reach of my channel. As per usual, this is a Civil Engineering Essentials channel and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye bye.